Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am here to do the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm doing things a little differently this month. You guys, if uh, you're a returning viewer, it's Mercury retrograde, so I'm going to be stumbling over my tongue. Well, cancel, cancel. I'm not going to put that out there, but I may. Anyhow, um, this month I was divinely guided to do the Twin Flame Sacred Soulmate, High Level Soulmate, Lab Partner, Catalyst, False Twin, whatever the title you put on it. Um, this is for those who are on an ascension journey, an awakening. Uh, you probably are light workers or um, star seeds. But a lot of us were awakened on our spiritual journey and purged, healing, you know, looking at ourselves, making changes, walking through the Akashic records, clearing our trauma bonds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All because of a catalyst or a twin flame. Like I said, whatever title you want to put on it. Um, and so these are complicated relationships and they teach us a lot about ourselves, about what we um, have been tolerating and what we shouldn't tolerate, healthy boundaries, healing our deepest trauma. And um, so this is my mission work. You know, I'm a Twin Flame Ascension coach. And so this is what I was called to do this month. So if you don't resonate with being on that journey, then please keep your wiggly bell on because on Friday I intend to do an all singles read. Uh, for all zodiacs, I'm not sure what format that will be in yet. Whether it's going to be um, a pre-recorded video or a live uh, stream, or you know, videos according to elements, I'm not sure yet. But I want to make sure that the singles get a reading too. So um, my other announcements, of course, are that if you would like to support my mission, if I've helped you in any way, if my videos and my content help you on your journey, and you would like to support the channel, there's so many ways you can do that. As simple as um, watching the ads that boost the ad revenue. Um, you can donate a deck of cards, which you will get a 15 to 20 minute free reading for your donation. So make sure that you send me a gift receipt with your contact information and the topic you would like me to read on. You can donate through my PayPal me by tipping me um, or sending money for, you know, some coffee or just, you know, whatever. Um, you can also book your own personal private reading and the, the options for that are in the description box below. Or you can go over and watch the extended versions of this by joining my Patreon. Um, all extendeds are available for $4.44. You get all 12 every month. And um, you get exclusive content that I don't upload to YouTube as well. But if you resonate with being a twin flame or sacred soulmate or on an ascension journey with a catalyst, um, then I would suggest you check out my 1111 tier over on Patreon. It's $11.11 .11 a month, but it's where we're doing... Uh, right now, we're doing weekly coffee chats where we're um, talking about our journey and sharing our experiences and getting guidance from spirit. Um, but there's a bunch of content there uh, where we we did journaling uh, to get to know our deepest selves. And we also did shadow work journaling. So go check that out. Without further ado, I'm going to get into your reading. This month, we're looking at person A. Person B, I'm not going to dictate to you who you are in the story. You need to pick uh, which pile resonates with you. I'm going to take a look at Person A's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and most likely action. And we're going to take a look at the bottom of the deck as the overall energy. And I'm going to use the, uh, I think it's Goddess of the, the Moon Oracle deck. Um, and I'm going to get... Uh, energies for each person using this as well. And then the extended will take a look at everything. I will clarify everything. We'll go deeper into the reading. I'll get you messages from your person 
and love songs and lyrics from your person. And we'll also get a postcard from Spirit for uh, additional advice. Okay, so let's take a look here. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is Person A's overall energy in the month of September? What is Person B's overall energy in the month of September for Person B? Well, that flipped back in, so let's give it a shuffle. We'll try that again. Overall energy for Person B. Wow, this is like really... familiar energy i don't remember who else got these two cards but they were reversed i think anyhow let's take a look please spirit clear concise messages for aries twin flames sacred soulmates whatever title you want to put on it we're going to take a look at person a's thoughts feelings intentions so their thoughts three of Kind of, or wands, their feelings is the page of cups, their intentions are the world, and their most likely action is victory and success. All right, let me see here. I want to make sure everything's in shot. Bottom of the deck energy is seven of cups. All right, let's take a look at person B for Aries, sacred soulmates, high-level soulmates, twin flames, lab partners. You know, there's a collective running the twin flame template that are not necessarily twin souls. I call it the collective or the hive. Uh, so there's a lot of people that are on a twin flame journey um, that may or may not be twin souls. So the good news in that is um, actual union is a free will choice. That's why this month's um, thumbnail is called The Choice. Because I've noticed some people are choosing to move forward in their life, closing out a cycle with the twin, and others are still persevering, I guess is what I want to say. All right, so person B's thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, and their most likely, most likely action. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. All right, so we have fruition for the general energy along with the seven of cups. Now, just so you know, we're taking a look at how this person's thinking, feeling, and exploring this person's energy, person B, and vice versa. So the, the funny thing is, 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 so it's a little opposite, okay? We have fruition, which is a number 37, breaks down to a 10, okay? It's a new beginning is what I feel. Uh, an abundant new beginning. And then we have, for the person B, assessing, which is number 9. And we have another 9 here. We have a 10 here. <clears throat> we do have the world. <clears throat> so I do, do see an, a, a cycle that is wrapping up in the month of September for these two individuals okay, or collectives. So the way person A is viewing person B, their, their energy toward, in their thoughts toward person B is the three of wands. <clears throat> they feel as if there's a future here and, and they're trying to manifest that. Um, or a second way I could look at this, because there is this, this clearing of energy, we're getting toward the end of a cycle here, a successful completion of a cycle. This could also, with the chariot here, this could be this person feeling or thinking that this person is moving on. 
and has turned their back on them and moving forward in their life. So take what resonates. Don't don't take it if it doesn't feel right. But there's two themes I'm seeing there. So this person A is actually in their thought space. There's there's options. There's confusion. There's some daydreaminess here. Uh, but mostly I feel a choice. You know, I'm hearing choose wisely. And then in their heart space toward person B is this Page of Cups. Page of Cups for me is usually a, a conversation around an apology or uh, wanting to uh, reconnect after a period of no connection. Um, it's, it's a very small gesture. And it comes in rather shy and timid, like... Like it's difficult to to talk about. So in this person's heart space, they're see, they're feeling as if there could be a need to apologize or to be apologized to by person B. Now their intentions is the world. Okay, they intend. Now this is their intentions, not their not what they think this person's intentions are. These are actually person A's intentions. Their intentions are to successfully close a cycle. And they could be turning their back to something. Looking forward, moving forward, moving forward successfully. But the Seven of Cups does tell me that this person feels like there's a need to get clarity and to assess a situation in order to have this this you know, winner, winner, chicken dinner, successful outcome. Now, person B is thinking about this person either leaving them, moving forward, leaving them, and, and somebody here feels like they are, or at least the other person believes it. Um, I would say person B is thinking about moving on, is the way I'm taking this. They're thinking about moving on from something moving forward. Um, we've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here and here. Um, we also have Fire, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we've got Fire and Earth down here. So I, you know, I don't know if that resonates with you, but um, Earth is... Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and heavy Pisces, or I'm sorry, heavy Cancer, not Pisces, heavy Cancer energy, especially for person B. Okay, so person B is either releasing this burden in order to move forward, But their intentions are to stand up for what they believe in. Okay, this is the, my stand your ground. It's guarded energy. It's competitive energy. But it's somebody who has leveled up somehow, some way, um, possibly financially or just energetically, right? Because I think that this person here um, is viewing this person as being a bit heavy, a bit of a burden, a bit overwhelming this month. And so they're guarding their energy and they're focusing on themselves. Fruition, okay? So this is very abundant energy. This is the most likely action. This person is self-focused in the month of September. Um, with the Queen of Cups here also as the bottom of the deck energy, this person is being divinely guided. Person B is actually tapping into their intuition in order to make these decisions. So, I see here that the action you can expect in the month of September is that both of these people are trying to make a choice. 
this person and, and both of them, quite frankly. So I feel like this person here is wanting to to reconcile or apologize or make something right with this person to end this Ten of Wands energy. They want to complete that. They want to apologize. They're looking to the future. They're wanting to move forward. They're assessing the situation. They're trying to gain clarity um, because they really do want to somehow, some way, end a cycle with this person. Now, we're, we've got six planets in retrograde. Um, so that is assessment, right? It's, it's almost like the judgment card. It's the past coming, knocking, um in order to to decide what timelines have what cycles have we completed and timelines can we collapse versus those that we want to take forward this person person a wants to take person b with them moving forward okay but they're trying to figure out how to get back in is what it feels like because this person down here is seeing person a as being burdensome being heavy being hard to to deal with right and their intuition is telling them that they need to move forward uh, i think because with the seven of wands and the nine of pentacles person b here um is needing to focus on themselves. Now, another thing I'm seeing here is person B could be in a situation or believe that this, actually, I think this is this person believing this person, person A, is in a situation that they need to move out of. They need to stand their ground. They need to have a conversation. They need to end something. Okay, I don't know what it is, but this person believes that this, you know, person needs to move beyond some kind of a burdensome cycle um, and fight for their own autonomy, their own freedom, their own security, their own financial abundance, fruition. So we have abundance, by the way, on the bottom of the deck which is a number 38, breaks down to master number 11. And I notice under that is self-love. This is what this feels like. It feels to me like person A person A is seeing person B as Manifesting, I'm hearing exit strategy. I don't know, guys. I'm getting a little bit of a confused message here. So I think you're mirroring each other. And I think it's hard for me to determine who's who in this because yeah, I'm getting both energy. So this person up here needs to make an apology, needs to, man needs to kind of... Um, Tell the universe, the world, what it wants in order to successfully create it, experience it, have it. So there's a manifestation quality to this person's thoughts right now. They know that they need to um, make something right is what it feels like. But they are watching the other person and they're trying to gain some kind of clarity about what to do. But their intuition, their heart, tells them that they know that they need to make something right if they want to succeed. Person B is basically telling person A, I'm about to drop this whole thing and move forward, maybe even block you, because this is like blocking energy, right? I, this person might have blocked this person, at least energetically, because they're self-focused right now. They're focusing on their abundance and on fruition. This person down here 
is tired of this person up here's energy. They're guarding themselves. They've leveled up. They're standing their ground. They're tired of feeling overwhelmed. But it looks to me like one person needs to just clear their energy field because this is my single card. Doesn't mean they're in a relationship, but it just means that there there needs to be some focus on self in the month of September. And I do see their intention to do so. So what's the advice? Boundaries, right here. This person, right here. Boundaries, that's their intention. Firm boundaries are needed now. Release your ex. See, I think they are. I told you, I named this this month the choice. The time has come to clear your energy. So if there's a third party situation, this person down here needs to release their ex, become single, move on, drop the burden, put up healthy boundaries. Now that doesn't, that's a third party situation. But if you're not dealing with the third party, then this is, you know, um, needing to release person A. This person, you know, spirit's guiding you saying, you know what? If they're this burdensome, if they can't apologize, if they can't move things forward successfully, then healthy boundaries are needed and maybe it's time to release them because we see with the nines and tens, there's a completion of a lesson or a cycle because the world is always the completion of a karmic lesson, which takes you out of one timeline and into an, another one. So definitely two stories here. One is if you know that your person is in a third party situation in a relationship with somebody else that, you know, is their ex, needs to clear their energy field from somebody that, you know, is the ex or needs to be the ex because this could, doesn't have to be that they're in a committed relationship. It could be that they just came out of one or they're healing from one. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But there's a need here to clear your energy field. Um, and I believe it's person A is the one that needs to clear their energy. And person B is reflecting that. Okay. Or person B is going to clear this person right out. They're like, mm, I'm going to release this. The time's come to clear my energy and focus on me. Sorry about the two storylines, but, you know, it's a collective reading. Next we have, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. I think that's person B. And I think person A sees it, and it's a bit triggering. And in their heart space, they know that there's something they need to make right. There's something they need to apologize for or some sort of a gesture that needs to be made in order to have success. Whether it's a successful ending with this person or a successful uh, new beginning for the future. So I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to clarify each of these. Uh, but, you know, you decide who you are. Are you the person who has leveled up? who is ready to move forward, who's trusting their intuition, who is putting up healthy boundaries, who's releasing the burdens and focusing on self, their abundance, their fruition, or are you the person that feels as if you need to assess the situation, gain some clarity in order to manifest a successful completion and new beginning but there's an apology that needs to be made. And somebody here could possibly be in a third party situation or healing from an ex that needs to be released. If this is not a third party situation for you in your situation, then this is it's time to let go of this person, especially if you consider them to be an ex, somebody from the past, because it is, you know, for me personally, my twin flame was somebody from my past. But 
you know your story better than I do. I just see here that spirit is saying healthy boundaries, focus on yourself and time to clear your energy field and um, release whatever person needs to be released. All right. So, um, yeah, I don't see a lot of action. I don't see communication at all. Unless this person follows their heart's desire and then their will. So if you get a text or if you get in, uh, any kind of communication, then you know it's because this person has actually followed their, their desires, right? Because we're talking heart space. But if you don't hear from them in September, you know, Spirit's saying, well, it's important right now for you to take a step back, spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Because both people here... One is about to leave the other behind in some scenarios and others need to leave somebody behind in order to successfully move forward with the with this person who at the moment seems to be leveling up, guarding themselves, releasing and moving forward. Very focused on their money, abundance and, and fruition, right? Making things happen in their own life. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. We're going to go over to the extended. I'm going to clarify every one of these. I'm going to get deeper information. Um, and then we're going to get messages from your loved one and uh, love songs from your person. And we're going to get a postcard from Spirit to get further um, advice for September. Okay, I love you guys. Oops, I bumped the camera. I will see you over on the other side. Sorry, I guess I thought I had all that in shot. I'll let you look at the cards real quick before I shut it off because I thought I had it. Hey, if this resonated, would you please hit that thumbs up? That's another way you can support the channel. Hit the thumbs up, comment, like, share, subscribe, all of that stuff really does help the channel to grow and it helps the algorithms to pick it up. Okay, love you guys. Namaste.